Hey you guys, okay, we have a really long community post by Foodie Beauty, and guess what? She quit YouTube again. Are we surprised? No, not really. I just think if she is really going to quit, it's just going to be during Ramadan because she doesn't want us to see her like raging or sneak eating or anything she's not supposed to be doing. So after we read this community post, you guys, um, Shannon for Christ has a weird one up. We're going to go read that next. Like shit hit the fan with her. So this community post is six hours ago. It is edited. Sorry, I'm late to the party, but I'm fashionably late. All right. So she says, I've decided I'm going to take a break from YouTube and focus on myself. Also, I see vultures are already picking apart and turning what I say into their own fact when they know nothing as usual. Foodie, I thought you were going to take a break and focus on yourself, but you're already pointing the finger in the next sentence. <laughs> you say, also, I see vultures are already picking apart and turning what I say into their own fact when they know nothing as usual. I made an error when I said he can't go to Syria. I meant we because we will always travel together. Duh. Syria is dangerous to travel to for anyone right now. Foodie, I don't really believe you're traveling anywhere else, so I don't know. Like, you can calm down about that. I'm not worried about it. Um, I really think your community is majorly messed up if you feel it's okay to dive into personal lives and when you don't know someone's story fully. Foodie, I really think you and your little sidekick, your mama, are messed up when you lie and twist people's stories. I think you're really messed up when you go out of your way to dox people's sick family members. I think you're really messed up when you talk about underage children. As if you know what it's like to be a mom. I think you're really messed up. You abuse and neglect your animals. And I want to clear this up right now. Um, I heard your mama saying neglect and abuse are two very different things. Foodie Beauty didn't abuse. If you actually, your mama ever did any work on yourself in your life, or you've picked up a book, or you've just googled neglect is abuse and foodie beauty neglected her cats which means she abused them there's no difference neglect is a form of abuse foodie you're pointing the fingers and saying like everybody else always has the problem but you but if you go took a long hard look in the mirror and you self-reflected you would see you're the problem you're the issue and you're the cause of everything going wrong in your own life. You don't know people's story fully, but you feel free to lie about it. Anyway, she continues, It's also not okay to mess with the livelihood of innocent people. It's not okay to pick apart and body shame us for hours on a live stream. Foodie, I'm sure a channel already has it clipped together somewhere. You have body shamed over and over and over. You do it all the time. Just because you haven't done it for two days doesn't mean you don't do it. Your fake husband, Sala, tells people to go unalive themselves. You two are worse than anybody you're trying to point the finger at. Uh, let's see. Where do we live off? It's not okay to pick apart and body shame us for hours on a live stream. It's honestly deplorable, and these same drain rats have the nerve to call me vile? I know I have tried this before, but I am done with YouTube for a while. Hopefully forever. I may seek another platform in the future because I will miss my Beezers, but I will not be a part of a platform of vultures and disgusting people. Foodie, you are vile and you are disgusting and you're stuck with yourself, so I hate to break it to you, but wherever you go, there you are. Wherever platform you're going to hop onto next, hoping that they don't know about your shitstorm you created, you're still bringing the shitstorm with you. Hear my words loud and clear. Wherever you go, there you are. It doesn't matter what platform you hop onto next. Your behavior, your problems, those horrible things that you're trying to hide, hoping people will forget, it's all going to follow you there. All right, you guys, who actually believes she's done with YouTube this time? I feel like we hear this literally every other day. 
if you think she's serious, let me know. Like, I, I, I genuinely want to know your opinion. All right, let's go see what's going on with Shani and Rev. So here, you guys, Shani and Rev um, share Foodie Beauty's community post and their thoughts on it. From their channel, they are banavating from the Losers Club. Okay, so Shani said, they live through us. I would never do what they do. Dox people, release private messages and emails, harass strangers, encourage others to do the same, call authorities, police, CPS, social workers, employers, etc. Contact your private family, friends, and neighbors, hack information, slander, libel, name-calling, being petty, and pretty much representing Satan in every way. So, Shani, I think you forgot. One day, I was really nice, and I said, hey, I don't like you. I'm going to still cover you. But I feel like you need somebody who's been where you are before. I've been through addiction. Um, I lost my child due to, due to addiction. I fought to get her back. I have her back. Um, not many people share their stories about how they lost their children, right? Because it's not something that we could just... It's, it's hard to share. It is. But it's something that needs to be talked about, so I do. But not everybody talks about that. And I'm one of the only people on here, I'm pretty sure there's more, but at least in our community, who's very open about it. I reached out to her and said, hey, if you ever need resources one day, like, I can hook you up with resources. I know, I know who to call, where to call, when to call. Like, I got you covered. But I am still going to cover you. A week goes by, I get doxxed, and she starts sending me audio dm after audio after audio after audio all to my ig you guys calling me a c-u-n-t i see you next tuesday um calling me a bitch calling me every name in the book literally growling at certain points um i wasn't responding and it was just audio after audio after audio so i i'm not buying this that you don't name call and you don't harass others because i didn't do anything to you and uh you harassed me we talked about the audio, you guys, on a live stream. Um, it's We did a live stream on it. I can't remember the title, but it's Shani's face, and I think it's something along the lines of how she's harassing me. Um, she left so many, you guys. So many. Like I said, I'm calling me every name in the book. Why? I don't know. I didn't do anything to her. But you know what I did do the day she released the audios, you guys? I covered Rev complaining about how he doesn't want to work and doesn't want to go find a job. It's too hard and how he really needs money for a pizza or Delta 8 or whatever it was that day. I covered that. Um, Shani, you represent Satan in every way. Do you realize that? I know you've been harassing a woman named Lisa, you guys. We'll get to the other um, community post. But while we're here, a woman um, was nice enough to help them out and was sending them money. She didn't know who they were, like how they really are. She found out, as everybody does, whoever sends them money, she was kind enough to help them and they kept wanting more and needing more. Um, I don't remember if she stopped sending them money or exactly how it happened, but she stopped sending them money. I don't know how or why that happened. And you know what they did? They harassed her with audio message after message after message after message. They dragged her. They did several live streams yesterday dragging her, saying like how horrible it was what she did to them. From what I understand, you guys, I don't know the situation fully, but this woman was struggling to like afford her own life, but still was trying to help them because she felt bad for them. The money runs out or she decides she's not going to pay them anymore or she decides, hey, it's not my responsibility to fund their lifestyle forever. Um, and they harass her. That's the thanks that Lisa gets. All right, let's go look at some more community posts. Okay, this is the community post I wanted to talk about. So this is from an hour ago. It is edited. Shani um, is on. We're reading a community post by Shani um, on the channel she's banavating from the Losers Club. So an hour ago, edited, it says Lisa, Carrie, and G-Man in a nutshell. Remember, I didn't release your private DMs. You violated my privacy. You did because you need other people to fight your imaginary battles because you don't understand that I don't want friendship with fake people. 
and she shares something that says, Narcissists are like, yeah, I hurt you, but now you hate me, so I am the true victim. Shani, that's you. Apparently, you and Foodie Beauty do not own a mirror. Please, please put down your phone right now, because I know both of you guys watch my videos. Walk to your nearest bathroom or mirror and go look in it. And truly ask yourself, who was the cause of all your problems? Now, from what I understand about Carrie and G-Man, they both tried to help you at one point. Lisa, I don't know enough about, but it sounds the same as well. Everybody tries to help you. And then when your needs aren't met how you want them to be met, when you aren't getting money when your Delta 8 run, runs out, I know what that's really for. Like, do I buy you guys need a pizza sometimes? Maybe you do, but go work for it. I think for the most part, you want drug money. And I don't believe it's just Delta 8 you're doing. Lisa, Carrie, and G-Man helped you. And you slapped all three of them right in the face. That's what you do. People are kind to you and you self-sabotage it because you don't know how to handle kindness. Or when they, when they don't want to send you money anymore or when they can't help you anymore and you have to hear the word no, you freak out. Like a little tiny child throwing a temper tantrum, but worse. Okay. And then this one's a doozy. This is from an hour ago. For people saying I hide behind Jesus as a shield, you darn right I do. He is my strong tower, shield, and defender. Where do you expect someone to go when they are being attacked? What's wiser in battle? Standing on the front line with no armor or standing behind a shield and alongside a great warrior and king? Um, Shani, Jesus doesn't want you to attack people and hide behind him anymore. I hate to break it to you. You're not using Jesus as your shield when you're going through a storm and your, your refuge and your safety. You know what you do? You create messes, you create chaos, you wreak havoc, you cause drama, and then you run and hide. And you're like, but wait, but wait, I'm Christian, so you can't come for me. I believe in God, so nope. If you come for me, you're coming for Jesus. That's what you do, and you're sick. You're absolutely sick, Shani. Um, all right, you guys, I will keep a lookout for any more updates. I wanted to hear all the audios. If you guys know... Who has just the audios um, or like in a shorter video? I would love to be able to talk about them with you guys. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. Let's shake off Shani and Revs and Foodie Beauty's bad vibes and negativity. Shake, 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 shake. All right, let's do it one more time. Shake, 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 shake. And I will see you guys, I'm sure, so soon. Bye.